you certainly feel for the employees and hope that they can, they can find other work, which I, th I think that they will. Thousands of employees out of work after a major U.S. trucking company has shut down after 99 years in business. Good evening, I'm Alicia Richards. And I'm Dennis Owens. Thanks for joining us. That company, Yellow Corporation, is expected to file for bankruptcy soon. Well, the shutdown is already impacting workers in the mid-state. Our Sonica Barco has our top story. Sonica. Alicia, Dennis, we heard from a few of those employees. They didn't want to go on camera, but said they're frustrated with the situation. Many are trying to pick up a temporary job while they figure out what to do next. But there is a silver lining. The head of a truck driving school tells me this shutdown doesn't reflect the larger trucking industry. The first thing that hits you is it's unfortunate for all the people. President of Sage Truck Driving Schools Chris Throp reacting to Yellow Corporation shutting down. There is going to be an impact in central Pennsylvania. The company has 30,000 employees across the country and is one of the nation's largest less than truckload carriers. It's expected to file for bankruptcy, ending a significant presence in the mid-state. Other regional operations too that they purchased as kind of part of their plan to work themselves out of the problems that they're having. Financial problems going back years. Yellow has an outstanding debt of about $1.5 billion, including a $700 million pandemic era loan from the federal government. Their employees taking the brunt of this shutdown. I hope that they can they can find other work, which I, th I think that they will. The silver lining, Throp says demand for truck drivers remains high. A shortage right now of about 80,000 truck drivers. And Yellow's drivers should have plenty of options. Yellow has good, safe, uh, experienced drivers that those men and women can move to another company and follow the freight essentially. Other employees might have a tougher time. Dispatchers, driver managers, safety people, mechanics. But Throp says Yellow is a one-off. The trucking industry is going strong. That's why I hope that people don't look at Yellow and say, oh my gosh, big supply chain problem, big trucking industry problem, big economic problem. Now it's not clear how many people Yellow Corp employees in the mid state. We reached out to them over the weekend and again today about that and still haven't heard back. For those employees now out of work, the Pennsylvania Motor Truck Association tells me they are hosting a job fair this August 19th in Erie with trucking companies from across the state. We have more information on that on our website, abc27.com. In the studio, Sonica Bargo, Dennis, back to you. Sonica, thank you.